Hey everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. And for today, um, we have another unboxing video. I took it out of the big box to spare you all the noise and all that. And uh, so let's get to it. What do I have in this box? I think you might know, especially from the title, probably of the video, right? So this was sent to me by Ublove. I kind of like that name, Ublove or Ublove. And it's a tongue drum. All right. You have the smaller booklet, which is fine. Um, I can still see it. I can still read it. It's got a few songs in there. Some Chinese traditional songs that are actually quite pretty. I've played some of them. And some little instructions. And it also has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Happy Birthday. So you can play some of those as well. Comes with the mallets. Extra stickers, if you wanna change around the stickers. Nice wooden mallets, the rubber top. This is nice, a little cleaning cloth. And a little stand, I guess, for your, I guess for your, yeah, for your mallets, a little mallet holder, okay? And then, oh, there's a couple other things too. Those lovely rubber, <laughs> those lovely small rubber finger picks are called, which, like I said, I have to find a use for. Maybe I'll string them up and put them on, make a necklace of them, because <laughs> I can't use them. They're just so tight. And this is a nice strap for the bag. Similar bag to others that I've gotten, which is nice because it's got the rubber handle and a place to put the uh, other strap. Okay. Oh, this is different because I don't have one from Amazon that has like these slits. So this is very interesting. And I love the color. Wow. It's a lot nicer than actually in the picture. I'll show you up close. Ooh, really like this color. It's got flecks of paint in it that have different colors like white and orangey and brown and black. I really like it. It's in the key of D and it's etched in the back so you don't forget if, if you're like me and have several different tongue drums. Although I don't have one in this particular color. I don't know if you could see that. See the light, I'm looking at it like you're looking at it right now through the screen, but it doesn't look as good as in person. In person, it's much greener. To me, it looks like it's blue when I'm looking in the screen. Look how close I can get. But it's actually more of a, like a greenish color. So bear that in mind that it might be a little distorted because of the light in my house. It's more of a greenish color. All right, this is a considered a 10 inch tongue drum and uh, it's got how many tones? 10, 11 tones, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, 11 tones. That seems to be about the standard for the uh, 10 inch tongue drums. Any more, they'd be all squished. And it looks like you might, because these are actually cuts. These are not just designs. I wasn't sure in the picture on the screen if it was just uh, like a paint, but this is our, these are actual slits. So you might get some overtones, which is kind of cool. Like, I don't know if you know, I'd be able to do it right away, but you can usually maybe like press a point on it and, and it might get a harmonic overtone. Maybe, I'm guessing. I know it's like that on my RAV. Okay, so let's just do a little, well, let's look at it real quick. On the bottom, you have your standard rubber stopper where you can open it and you can have a different tone. Okay, I don't know if this one's magnetic. Some of them say steel. They all say steel alloy or steel, and some are magnetic and some are not. So uh, you'll have to test that yourself. And if I test it before I publish this video, I'll let you know. I bought magnets and I have no idea what I do with them. So that's where I'm at at this point, the pandemic. So you have your rubber feet. And again, it's etched in D. It's got this little pretty filigree too on here. All right, I bet you wanna hear what it sounds like and I do too. So let us begin. So you have, this would be D. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, and then you have some lower tones before 
you even get to that scale. So you have, um, it starts with the five, so it's the fifth degree of the D major scale. So the D major scale is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And it just keeps repeating forever and ever. Higher and higher and higher or lower, lower, lower. And so if you heard, the fifth degree is A, D, E, F, G, A. So it starts actually with the lowest tone is A, A, B, and you get another C sharp. There are definitely sweet spots on these drums. Most drums have sweet spots, even the really expensive ones. And so there's definitely sweet spots where some tones will ring out better than others. So that, those are the names and the numbers of the tones. So it's again, this is five, six, seven, and then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, and that's how you get the 11 notes. So I'm just gonna do some improvisation with, um, I'll do my hands first and then with the mallets. How about that? said with the harmonics I wouldn't even I wouldn't even attempt to do it because I'm not sure I would even be able to um and you really shouldn't wear rings so I apologize for that but I like these smaller tongue drums the ones that I've gotten from Amazon um they really sound pretty with the mallets I have some other tongue drums as you might know uh that I like to play by hand but in particular it seems the tones just sound sweeter when you play with the mallets like bells So I really like that. So yeah, I really think this is uh, worth it for the money that it's under $100 on um, Amazon. And uh, I think they're producing some really nice drums. And as you might know, if, you know, if you bought some and had to return some, which I've had to do, they're not all the same. Even the same manufacturer, you know, you, you might have to go through a couple of them to get one that's tuned correctly or um, sounds good to your ear. So that's generally the problem is the tuning that, you know, if, if some of the tongues are off by a little bit, it's okay. But it's, if it's a dramatic one tongue that's dramatically off, it's going to not, it's not going to sound good. And the only thing you could do with Magnus, you can lower the tongues so you can lower the tone. But if you want to play songs and you need that note, you're kind of out of luck. Um, so having said that, this to my ear, I haven't used a tuner yet, but sometimes I can tell right away, it sounds like all of these tongues are very close to being perfectly in tune, enough that uh, it won't bother my ears and hopefully not yours either. Thank you, Ubla, for sending this to me. Um, I really am gonna enjoy playing it and I'm gonna enjoy looking at it, it's very pretty. Uh, I think they're very beautiful tongue drums, so I'm not, tell me what you think. 
And um, thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't mind. Bailey's almost 19.